Uh, this is Donna Peck, longtime Orangevale resident, and she's going to tell us stories about Orangevale and her life in it. Donna, uh, where and when were you born? I was born in Sacramento many years ago, <laughs> but I was raised in San Francisco. Ah, and when did you move to Orangevale? Ah, uh, in about 1970, maybe? Okay. 72? I've lived in this house since 75. And if you could ignore her for a minute and just look into here where everybody... Look into... Oh, okay, right. sorry. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. um, so tell us about uh, why you came to Orangevale, under what circumstances, and what things were like back then. Well, we had horses. And so we decided we better find a place with land because we were boarding them. And so we found this house. And we moved here in 1975. And things were very different in 1975. Greenback Lane uh, was, was kind of still rural. Hazel Avenue was only two lanes. Uh, I'm trying to think what where Walmart is. There was a strip mall type thing with Capri Market and Capri Florist and Capri Rexall Drugs. And I think there was a coffee shop in there. I can't remember that. Uh, across the street, you probably don't know it, but at one time there was a Wonder Bakery outlet store across the street over where um, Regan's Irish Pub is. Uh, what else? Go where the uh, uh, post office and that that area that there was nothing really there. Um, that didn't start getting built until gee I don't know maybe six or seven years later I can't remember. Uh, the 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 Powwow Days Parade was held every year and it was a big deal. Uh, my kids rode in it, everybody's kids rode in it that had a horse, and it was a really big deal. Uh, the, the, ride, the Twin Lakes Riding Club rode in it also. Um, where did it start and where did it end? Well, it, usually it started down on Maine and ended up where the post office area is now. A couple of times they did change the route. Um, I think one time they even did it down. Oak Avenue, I can't remember that. They, they, they did take it off at Greenback Lane. Um, like I say, Hazel Avenue was only two lanes, and I can remember when they changed it to four lanes. They had dug up the whole street, and it was dirt. And all of us that had horses <laughs> would race the horses at the end of the day when there wasn't much traffic, would race our horses down Hazel Avenue until they paved it. And... Um, we used to, a lot of us used to ride, we could ride out to the lake without taking our life in our hands. We could go through back ways and ride out to the lake. And there used to be a trail that went between two houses up on um, Cardwell that we'd get up to the water district. You could ride on the water district property all over the place. It was beautiful up there. They had canals and everything where the water was. You could ride all the way up there. You could ride all the way to Roseville. And you could ride out to Folsom Lake without where you were going to get killed. Um, at the other, well, I don't know if you want to know this, but there was at one time a topless bar in Orange Trail. And it's in the same shopping center where Bad Fish Coffee is. It was the talk of Orange Trail. It was called the Pink Pussycat. And the man who ran it, I don't remember his name, but I'm dating myself here, but everybody said he looked like Burl Lives. Most of you probably don't know who Burl Ives is, whatever. I do. Okay, well, it was the talk of the town. And so I bugged my husband. I said, I want to go, I want to go. He goes, you don't want to go. Yes, I do, yes, I do, yes, I do. He said, fine, I'll take you. So we go in there, and I, I don't think I'm naive, but I really didn't know what to expect. I'd never been in a topless bar before. And I go, oh, my gosh. And so we sat there for a couple of minutes. I go, okay, okay, I've seen enough. I've seen enough. 
<laughs> and we left. I've never gone into another topless bar. Have no desire to. Um, there was the, there was two grocery stores. There was Capri Market, and then I can't remember the name of the other one. It was up the street on the opposite side. I, it was owned by a family with like ten kids. Or was something. it Parade? The Parade. Maybe market? it was. I can't. Maybe it was Parade, but I know. Or Vons. No, it wasn't Vons. It was uh, I was owned by a family with like ten kids or something. Um, I can't remember that one. I'm trying to think what else was up there. Uh, well, of course, Reggie Pittman was a staple in Orangeville. He had been here for years. He owned the Shell gas station, which is was on the corner of Hazel and Greenback, right where the post office is now. Um, there was a standard station, I think, across the street. Um, at that time, we didn't have all the Mexican restaurants we have now. We 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 had a few, but I, I we didn't have near as many as we do now. Um, I can't think of anything else. What would you like to know? Where did you do your shopping? Okay, at that time, nothing against Capri or Rexall or, what, or Capri Market or anything, but they were rather pricey. So I drove into Folsom, and they had a lucky supermarket in Folsom, and that's where my girlfriend and I would go into Folsom and do our shopping. And they finally opened a supermarket down by Sunrise Mall, and it was a lucky, and we'd go there. I must confess I didn't do my shopping in Orangeville. Sorry. I did do my, my drugstore. I did go to, to the uh, Capri Rexall. Dale Schroeder owned it. He was a wonderful man. But he finally got put out of business when, uh, I think it was Payless or Rite Aid or something, opened a, a pharmacy in Orangeville, and he was done. Uh, what else? Capri Riddell Schroeder. Just, yeah. getting, just getting that down. Um, where did you buy things like clothing and things Okay, like that? for clothing, up where where Rayleigh's is, there used to be a, a, I don't know what you call it, kind of a catch-all thing. I think it was Zodi's, but I can't, I can't remember the name of it. There was Rasco Tempo. Rasco Tempo, yes! That's what it was, was Rasco. It was Rasco Tempo. Yeah, that's... And uh, either there I went to, I'm trying to think what it is. I, I can't remember what the stores were around. But yes, mainly it was Rasco Tempo. It was Rasco Tempo. Uh, for feed store, for feed for the animals, Mr. Sicardi's. Everybody went to Mr. Sicardi's. He had been here forever. And everybody bought all their supplies at Mr. Sicardi's. We still call it that. Yeah, I do too. Uh, but I must confess, I don't go up there like I used to because they're not as friendly. And that, that's not right. We, I go to Douglas Ranch. You could cut this out. I go to Douglas Ranch because they sub sponsor a bunch of stuff for the riding club. We have asked, what is it, Western Feed? Mm -hmm. And they have declined. So we just, I go to Douglas Ranch. But you can cut that out. I'm sure you will. So, but no, Mr. Sicardi was a, oh my gosh, he'd been here forever, ever and ever. And he always sponsored stuff. He always bought uh, beef or pigs or something at the livestock auction for the 4-H kids. He was a wonderful man. Tall, skinny guy with a hat. Yep, yep. And he'd give you a hug. Well, maybe not the man, but <laughs> the ladies, they'd always give you a hug when you came in there. I got a, a hug from Mr. Sicardi. Pardon me? I got a hug from Mr. Oh, yeah. Sicardi. Did you? Wow. Yeah. And I was, I think, about eight months pregnant at the time. <laughs> Just, oh, I'm mama. Yeah. That was so very sweet. And then I'm trying to think, that orchard, there, uh, it's still an orchard, um, but they sold it off or whatever on Filbert. Um, the Thomas Brothers? Yeah. I, I used to go there all the time. And then, oh, they had one other. They had a, this is kind of gossip. They had a fruit vegetable store stand on the corner of Maine and Greenback, George's Produce, and a wonderful man, except he committed suicide. Do you remember that? Mm -mm. I can't remember. He committed suicide. It's awful. But he wasn't part of the Thomas family. No. Okay. And then, My right after I moved in here... sell produce to his, George's. Oh, really? Did yeah. you? Yes, sir. And then, I can't remember the man's name, but right on the corner where they're building that house, 
he owned the, the 10 acres in there and he ran some cows in there. He was an older gentleman. And one day they walked out, or they were missing him, and they walked out in the field and he had dropped dead out there. Oh. That was a long time ago, a long, long time ago. Um, trying to think of anything. What were the roads like? Um, well, they were paved. You described Hazel. How about the, all the other roads around here? Well, they were just pretty much like they are now. Pretty much. I mean, there was no really dirt roads except when they were building it. Um, and then I remember when they went ahead and redid Sierra College, or um, that was a. I, I, when I used to have to, coming from work, and I, I had to make a left turn onto Cherry to get to my house, I took my life in my hands because it. <laughs> Because that was a two-lane room, too, and, and it, it was, had a lot of traffic. And I'd sit there with a turn signal going, looking in the mirror like, oh, please don't hit me. Mm -hmm. they, find, they finally wanted that to four lanes. Yeah. Were you here when they put in the Trim Lakes Riding Club Arena? No, that was before my time. Yeah. Do you know when that happened? Uh, I think about 1961. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Carol Walden or Carol Shoemaker would know. I, I, I'm not sure. It was before my time, though. And were you a member of the t uh, Twin Lakes Riding Club? I, was, I joined in 75, uh, I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you and think? What about, to go? what about, uh, did you have children? Did they go to school here? Oh, yeah, my kids. This is what's kind of neat. I have three generations that went to CASA. My daughter, Cory, my granddaughter, Emma. Oh, wait, my granddaughter, Cory, my daughter, Cory, my granddaughter, Jessica, and my great-granddaughter, Emma, all go to Ca went to CASA. Wow. I can't remember when CASA opened. It wasn't very old when we moved here. It was uh, about 66. Yeah, she, Cory, Cory, Peck, went there in. Uh, oh, she graduated. I can't remember. Oh, I'll tell you. I remember Casa being a big field. Yes, and they didn't have a football field. Oh, they did have the football field, but they didn't have. They no, they didn't. They had the field, but they didn't have the bleachers. And so, do you remember that gentleman? That that got in charge of it and, and ended up building the bleachers. I, I can't remember. The, they, Newman. They named the field after him. Um, and he didn't, as I understand it, he didn't even have sons. He had all daughters. And he got everybody going to build bleachers. And my husband did concrete. And so my daughter volunteered my husband. And so my husband was a foreman. So he told the guys, we are pouring this concrete Saturday or whatever. And we're not charging them, so, you know, whatever. And they, they, I have to admit, they all went along with it. They were fine with it. So he poured one of the things in there for that. But Gary Newman, I think his name was, he managed to arrange all that to get the bleachers put in. It was awesome. Wow. Yeah, and they named the field, as far as I know, it's, New, it's Newman Field. They named the field after it. Did a at, lot of people have horses back then? Oh, yes. I, at one time, when we moved here, supposedly, I can't verify this, they were supposed to be, this was supposed to have more horses per capita than anywhere in California. Of course, I mean, you, by capita, I mean the size of the town and stuff. I mean, it was supposed to have more horses per capita. Everybody had horses. And there wasn't that many track houses. It was all acreage. It was, it was a lot of acreage. Not that way anymore. Not that way anymore. So Did you we, hear when they were building the dam? No. So did your, uh, did, what elementary school and middle school did your children go to? They went to, uh, okay, they went to Pasteur uh -huh. and Green Oaks. Okay. Green Oaks? Yeah, Green Oaks. It doesn't, yeah, Green Oaks. Okay. Okay, well, let me see. What have we left out? Oh, what, was Green was Greenback two lanes at that time? I, mean, I don't think so. 
Somebody said that Greenback had palm trees all the way down. Is that it true? did. I, some of those pictures I sent you, it had. It did have palm trees. Uh, I haven't received pictures. Are you sure you didn't send them to Oh, I'm sorry. Karen? I didn't send you. I didn't send it to you. I sent them to uh, Kay. To Kay. Okay, yeah, good. sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, they did have palm trees. Mm -hmm. Must have been pretty. The last of the palm trees are where Denny's restaurant is right now. Mm -hmm. And they moved all what was left over to Filbert, uh, Pig Hunt. Oh, okay, yeah. By the Orbit Station. Right. And that, speaking of that, the Orbit Station, that has been here forever. For, uh, hasn't it? Yes, forever. I, I, if they ever tore that, it's iconic. I hope they never tear it down. Me too. When, it was here when we moved here with the things shooting out of it. Yes. There, there's three left. Is there? In the Sacramento area. Really? That's one. There's one over by American River College and another one someplace. I didn't there. even know there was any other, really. And there's supposed to be several dozen of them down in L.A. Really? I had no yes. idea. I they turned them into a, uh, a, another kind of store. I don't know if it's a bookstore or something. Really? Were, I had no idea. Stations. I thought that was the only one, for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. They started out in L.A. and they put a couple up Really? There. I'll be darned. So if you go down... Folsom Boulevard by American River College, you'll see the other orbit. Hmm. Oh. We'll have to make that trip. Mm hmm. Another interesting fact, I don't know if you know or not, do you know where uh, Mahalo Pools is in that little shopping center? Yes. Okay. Did you know that half of that building's in Orangeville and the other half's in Folsom? Oh. The, the, I worked for an office, so they have offices upstairs. Yes. And I worked there for a short time. And I did realize it until I was told, my boss told me that half of it's in Orangeville and half of it's in Folsom. And supposedly Amos, you know Amos Starr? I do, he lives behind me. Supposedly he's the one that owns that building. I don't know whether that's true or not. Uh, I have to. Do you know I'm, why that line is there? Dividing line? Folsom used to stop at the river. Yeah. But they had a car dealer over there that moved to a bigger area about mm -hmm. where Jack in the Box is currently. Uh -huh. And doing that, they would have lost sales tax revenue. So they just annexed mm -hmm. that area mm -hmm. and there was nobody to oppose them. Yeah, and it's a shame. <laughs> so that's why Folsom line, boundary line, yeah. is way over there. It, yeah, because it, yeah. Yeah. And Citrus Heights did the same thing. Did they right? Years ago at the other end, down by the, the mall. And they just moved that line because they could see what was being developed. Wow. Orangeville got kind of whatever, yeah. Squished. Yeah, squished. Yep. That's a good word. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other. The Black Stallion has been here forever. It's now since changed hands. But the Black Stallion... Oh, that was another one. That was supposed to be a bad bar, a bar, a rough bar, whatever. I don't know. I was in it once or twice, and I didn't see anything. It was there for 52 years. Yes. Well, then that woman got shot in there and killed. Remember that? Mm hmm she, A woman was closing up. Do you remember that? She was closing up. Somebody, I, did they ever figure out who shot her? Did they ever get, no. Shot her. Did you ever go in the gateway? No. <laughs> what was it like? I never oh, been in. <laughs> well, I think maybe we did. Uh, when we would line up for the Power Days Parade, the bars would usually give you free beer. Mm -hmm. I don't drink beer, but whatever. You, they, so probably some of the members went in there. I don't. I don't know. No, I've never been in the in that. Uh, I've never been in. What's that one? It used to be a country western bar. Now it's a. Well, I don't think it's even open. The owner died or something down there on. On the boardwalk. Yeah, boardwalk. Uh, but that that used to be something else. What was it? It was a country western bar, but I can't remember the name of it. Currently, a rock bar used to be country western yeah. for two years. Yeah. And then it was a hard rock bar. Yeah. But I don't know what it was before then. Yeah, I don't know. But it's been here a long time. Oh yeah, it's been yeah, it's been how, here. How long has Jan's Lounge been here? Not. That's that, another one. Long time. Yeah. What about La Placita? That's a... Well, that hasn't been... 
a long time. I don't know, maybe, well, 30 years maybe. I don't know, 25 years. Which I guess that is somewhat of a mm -hmm. long time. I mean, yeah. I can, We went there when they first opened, and I can't remember when that was. Um, where the the White House is, that you, they were going to turn that into a wing place. Do you remember that? Yes. It was beautiful in there. Still is. Uh, the the bar with the the where they had the ladder. We used to go up there all the time. It was beautiful in there, and I never could figure out why it didn't make it. They, they had good food. They had excellent help. I could not figure that out. Uh, the original restaurant or the wing place? The original restaurant. Yeah, they just didn't have enough people coming through. I guess. They had a gorgeous bar. Oh, well, gorgeous. have you ever been in there? Yes, we. I, I taught at Pastor and at Casa for a while. Okay. And a bunch of us would go over there after back to school nights and uh -huh. open house. And our principal didn't like it because he didn't want us drinking in, in orange. <laughs> <laughs> but we went anyway. That was a beautiful place, oh. and it's, it, it's still it's still beautiful. It's a church now, isn't it? Or it's mm -hmm. yes. oh, it's a church. And I can get the Orangevale History Group to meet down there in December. That would be wonderful. I didn't uh, know that. So it's not obviously it's not a bar anymore. If it's a church, they mm -hmm. is that is that where the sanctuary is mm -hmm. in the bar? Wow. He took all the shelving out off the wall. Oh. But left everything else there. Oh. So all the beautiful crystal glass and stuff uh -huh. and the chandeliers, they're uh -huh. still there. Wow. I'll That's show you pictures later. Great, great. I guess it was just too classy for Orange Valley or something. I don't know. I, I, like I said, my husband and I went there a lot. I liked it there. It was very classy. It was a tea room for a while. Or yeah, that, I didn't figure that would go over. I loved I, it, but it, it didn't last. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Uh, what else? I don't think anything else. Can you think of anything? Oh. Ken? We talked about the schools and where she, did you ever go down to Country Club? Some of the, uh, uh, some of the people we interviewed said they went, went down to the, isn't that what it's called, Country Club for, for back to school clothes and things like that? Oh, Country Club all over on Watt Avenue? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That was the last mall. Yeah. Before you got out here. Yeah, yeah, out here there was nothing. And then they built Sunrise Mall. My husband was foreman on that job. Uh I don't know when that was. I really can't remember when they built that. Yeah. But I, I know everybody is saying that mall is never gonna make it. You're out here in Cowtown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it, it did then, now it's going down to tubes again. Yes. When I lived here there was nothing where the mall is, but the Capitol Nursery was there. Yeah. And the church across the street was there, and that's it. Yeah. Yep. Wow. No, no Sunrise Mall. No. No birdcage. No. There was just fields, just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, about when was Sunrise built? I'm trying to think. My husband was foreman on that, and I'm trying to think. Um. It's in the mid-60s. Mid-60s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Birdcage probably the same time? Same time. Yeah. 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 Well, Sunrise Mall was built, and then they did, built Birdcage. Do you remember Birdcage had the birds in the in, yes. the, in the aviary? And then they didn't stop to think, gee, it gets kind of cold here, and they killed off the birds. Oh. <laughs> I remember birds there. I remember there was a bowling alley. There was a bowling alley. There was an ice skating rink. And a movie theater. Yeah. There was movie, an ice movie skating. The movie theater was very popular. Yeah. Do you remember the clock? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It still exists. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're right. It was probably the mid-60s, somewhere along in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We used to ride horses on that land. It used to be nothing but thistles. Oh, really? But it was graded flat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big deal. Boy, whoo. We were going uptown. Yeah. And Citrus Heights could see it coming. Mm-hmm. This, they just, yeah. Yeah, move that line a little bit. Yeah. But, and that was, now it's kind of going down the tubes, I mean, what can I say? But before that went in, yes, we went to um, Country Club Mall. Yeah. I never did care much for Arden. Well, it was farther out there to Arden Fair. 
I thought it was real unusual the first time I saw a yellow cab out here in Orangevale. Yeah, I guess. A cab? <laughs> yeah. Now they're all over. Oh, yeah. But back then, that uh, was yeah. a rare sight. Can you think of anything else? So, for social uh, social life, you did, you had, you, you had your riding community, uh -huh. and there was the powwow days. Yeah. And was there anything else? Were there any clubs out here? Or? Mm, well, my kids belonged to... My older daughter did belong to FFA. There were there two were, riding clubs out here. Yeah, there was... The Carols? Yeah. The, yeah or, or, it's Orangeville Club, wasn't it? Yeah, Orange, it was yeah. A, the Carols was an Orangeville Club. Yeah. And they... I don't know what happened to them. I mean, they just... Yeah. Uh, what else? Can you think of anything, Ken? Just the roads have been improved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the roads have been improved, and we have to fight for our acreage. Yes, which is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I remember all the businesses on Main Avenue and Greenback, because that was my stomping ground. Mm -hmm. And there's been a lot of them that have been turned over. Mm -hmm. The real hot spot was, I guess, Foster's Freeze or something. There yeah, was remember it was Foster's Freeze? Yes. Down by where George's produce. Yeah. Uh, my kids used to ride their horses up there. Yeah. Yeah. You probably did too. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that was on the corner or uh, uh, what was that mean in, in Greenback? It's, where George's produce well, it's, was? It's, well, it's Foster. It was Foster Freeze. It's Dairy Queen now. Oh, okay. Okay. Isn't it Dairy Queen? Yeah. Yes. But, but there was another another one. There was another one up there, yes. That, was, that preceded where George's produce yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where all the kids it's, Yeah, my, you know, my, my kids, I'm sure, yeah. 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 And then the new one came in called Hangaber. Oh, you remember Hangaber? Uh, oh, my there. gosh. I went there often. Oh, my kids went up there all the time. They rode their horses up there. Yeah. yeah. And where was that? It's exactly where the little pizza guy is. You know Orangeville Liquor? Mm-hmm. Okay, right across the driveway thing. Mm -hmm. The Little Caesars Pizza? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay. Hangover was what Little Caesars is now, okay. Yeah. Great burgers. Yeah. And, and I was like, I, I'm sure you remember when there was that Wonder Bread outlet up there where mm -hmm. Regan's Irish Pub, what else yes. was up there? I remember that. Um, I don't think what else was up there. There was a, there was a flower shop up there. Bank of America used to be where the Chamber of Commerce is now. Yeah, yeah. Then they moved. Yeah. But the vault, I think, is still there. Yeah, and when that when that mall went in, where uh, post office and stuff is, they had all different good stuff there that are not there anymore. They had a take three video. Do you remember that? We don't rent videos anymore, but they had a take three video. And do you remember Roy's appliance? Mm -hmm. Poor Roy was a great guy. He really was. And I remember he was rented all sorts of videos, and some of them happened to be X-rated. Now, myself, I don't go around running X-rated videos, but that's neither here nor there. He's done so much for the community, and these ladies were up there picketing him and everything else. I mean, nobody's got put a gun to your head to make you walk in there if you want to run a video. And he had them in the back. They were very discreet. And they were, it was, oh, I thought it was terrible because Roy did so much for the community. And if you want to rent those things out, somebody's going to rent them out. I mean, you know, for crying out loud, that was awful. I thought that was bad. But he, he if you had any kind of charitable thing going, Roy would donate to everything. What was Roy's last name? I don't know. Do you remember Wilkie's? Yeah. Auto, auto, auto me. Oh, yeah. Auto yeah. salvage yard? Yeah. Where you could go in there and get parts for your car. Yeah. Where was that? That's where the glass place is right now. Yeah. Orangeville Glass? No, it's right across the street, street. from Orangeville Glass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember what that's called. I don't remember what's there now, but yeah. yeah Wilkie's? Yeah. Yeah. And he always sponsored uh, um, a trophy in the parade. Always. Always sponsored a trophy. And there was a tire shop on the corner of Greenback and Main that had a huge tire, tire that people would sit in yes. and they'd push it down the parade route. Yes. What? Yeah. yeah. 
I remember. I, I forgot the name of the tire. I, I did too. And yeah. where was that? Well, it's kind of. Do you know where the boardwalk is? Huh? Okay. It was right the, there. The uh, corner business. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I think it's a tile yeah. place. Right. But I don't remember the name of the I don't either. tire store. I don't either. I can see the tire. I, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other popular restaurants that were... Busy? Well... I don't know when Lupita's came in. I don't know how old that is. I don't... That's a study. The one I do remember is Hangover. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> that was not a... It's a fast food. Uh, I can't remember... Except I like the White House, but that... That's the only one I can... Really? Well, wait a minute. That Chinese restaurant down there by the Black Stallion. Remember that one? There was a, I don't know if it's still there or not. But I don't remember the name of it. There. That was there for a long time. That was there when we moved here. But I can't remember the name of it. I don't think it's there anymore. Um, yeah. And do you remember before it was Denny's, it was something else? Yeah, I was just trying to remember that. Yeah? Pepito's or something. It had a short name to it. Yeah, it was it was a typical, like, American food type stuff. Yeah. And it was it was cheap. Scobies? Scobies? So, Scobies? Maybe no. Scoobies? I don't know. You're close. That, I'm close. Yeah. That was there. Mm-hmm. And then Denny's, well, Denny's been there since. And then there's, there's, of course, the one across the street that had been there that's no longer there. The ki the breakfast and lunch they served across the street by the library. Annie's. 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 That was there for a long time, too. Yeah. It's, it's now... Hot off the griddle. Uh, hot off the griddle. Yeah. That, inter that shopping center where Denny's is used to be all open ground, and that's where they ended the, the powwow. Oh, days. that's where they had the carnival and they stuff. Had all yeah, all the carnival stuff yeah. going on there. Yeah. And the post office ended real short. I mean, yeah. That was it, and there was nothing beyond the post office. Yeah. It was just an open field. Mm. Can you think of anything else? No, I'm just when talking about powwow days when I taught at Pasteur, those kids would get so excited when powwow when powwow days came. It mm -hmm. was the thing, and that and this was, well, it was a big thing. There, oh yeah, I taught there in the '80s and '90s, yeah. so it was. I mean, it was everything to them. Oh yeah, it was a big deal. Yeah, sure not was. so much now. I don't know. Like I say, all my kids rode in the parades and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, and the club rode in the parade. I rode in the parade several times went with the club mm -hmm. but not so much now and they they did change the name of it it's not power days anymore what they, is it they changed the name several times over the years yeah but everyone to make different people happy yeah but i think everyone still calls it powwow days cuz mm -hmm. i mean that that would be interesting to when when was the first one i don't know mm -hmm. i don't know Isn't charlie start that? Oh, yeah. We interviewed uh, Charlie Clark. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, yes. I'll have to look back. Yeah. Because, uh, right, you were talking about the electri being el doing electricity work for them. Well, do you remember sheets welding? Oh, yeah. Are they still there or they're... I no, they're... stuff welded by them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have two. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah. They were here for a long time, too. They did trailer hitches. They did all kinds yeah. of stuff. And were they in Cable Park, or? No, they were down at the other end, sort right of. Right across the street from where Jack in the Box is now. Yeah. Do you mean Carl's Jr.? Jack in the, I thought Jack in the Box is up on Fair Oaks and, and Greenback. There's, there's a Jack in the Box where, Green, where Greenback and Maine come together. There it is. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes, I, I've been there once. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need a lot of fast food. Okay, yeah. across from Jack in the Yes, I know where you mean now, because when you said that before, I thought, that's off, that, that's awfully, all right, got and it. I remember the very first three-story building that went in, in Orangevale. What was it? It's still there. What? 
Shannon's upholstery. Upholstery. Oh, yes. I remember that. It's yeah. got an elevator inside. And I've never even been in that store. I'm sorry. I, oh, I, pretty stuff. Really? Yeah. Three, first three-story building. Yeah, it was a big deal. That's terrible because I've never even been in that store. And it's still in business, isn't it? Yes. Same family that opened yeah. it. Trying to think what other businesses can. There's, there's you? several the homes that, that used to have basements. Yeah. I don't know if they still do or not. Yeah, yeah, there was. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the old stores down there, or businesses. P&D Market. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. P&D Market. I used to work there, too. Did you? Yeah. And where was that? The Main Avenue. Mm -hmm. There's a fast shopping center. There's a quick stop thing there right now. It's right down the street from, right, right a couple feet down from the barber and gun shop <laughs> on Main Avenue. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Lego place, right yes. across the street from the Lego place. Right. Well, yeah. you, and you remember the, the sporting goods, what was it? The, Oh, yeah. Oh, Wild... Wild Sports. Wild Sports. Yes. He was here for a long time, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there was a, a business was, before the Wild yeah, Sports. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Vaughn's, yeah, it was Vaughn's was Market. Vaughn's Market. Yeah. Uh, grocery store? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it V-A-U? V-O-N. V-A Vaughn. Okay. Like, okay. Well, there's, I, that's still, that's a chain, isn't it, Vaughn's? I think. I, I think it is. Right, I don't there's know. There's one right by my daughter's house, and... Uh, and uh, she lives outside of Fresno. Mm. Yeah. I think it's a chain, yeah. Well. There's been a lot of changes. Yes, yes. They moved that big old house, the three-story house that was on Greenback, moved it out to Oak Avenue. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was there the day they moved it. Oh, really? Oh, man, they were here. Yeah. All kinds of stuff going on. Well, that's a that's a that's an old house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it have a name? Yes, but I forgot what it was. It's I think it's in the Orange Vale book. Okay. Were you here when the railroad was here? No. They went through Orange Vale. Okay. No. I was just here when the exploded out there in Roseville when they had all those things going off. Remember that or the? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. They, they found some just uh, about a year ago. Did they really? Yeah. Driven deep into the ground. Wow. Were you here then? No. What, 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 what is this? What are you talking about? Uh, Roseville train area, train uh -huh. yard. Yeah. Okay. Biggest one on the west coast. Uh -huh. They had a bunch of army munitions come through, and somehow they were almost all set off. You could hear them. I mean... Oh, yeah. You could hear them way over here. Yeah. Booming. Was anyone know. killed? Yeah. Oh, boy. And a lot of damage was done. They found railroad wheels, you know how hey, those all steel wheels, a mile away. Oh, the blast was that strong. Yeah. I know, I was out there giving my horse a shot. <laughs> I, thought, I thought, what the heck? I had no idea what was going on, not a clue. And so I finished giving him the shots, and I still didn't, I come in, I mean, there was, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They had to dig up almost every rail line that they had out there. And they found all kinds of munitions that were driven into the ground. Wow. Yeah, still alive. How long ago was that, Ken? Forty? I don't yeah. know. It's documented somewhere. Yeah. Wow. That's got to be in the late 60s. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was something. I can't remember anything else exciting happening. Do you? Not exciting. Did you? Uh, was there any other horse arena besides Twin Lakes? No. I thought I just the one down at the park, but that didn't go in until Mr. Sicardi put that one in or paid for that one or so. Did you know that? No. They put a plaque on there. I don't know what happened to it. He's okay. the one that paid for that. By the Defanis? Uh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. Oh, okay. He paid for that in Orangeville Park. Oh. And we had a plaque. 
acknowledging this? Wow. I have no I idea. I have no idea what happened to the plaque. I have no idea. Nobody knows that. That nobody knows that, that Sakari did that. Wow. I don't know. Have I, I have no idea why they took the plaque, where the plaque is. I know there's a horse riding business yeah. down there on the other end of Main Avenue. Yeah, uh, um, Shadow, Shadow Glen. Glen. Shadow yeah. Glen, yeah. Yeah. And then there's a gal on Oak Avenue that gives lessons. Uh, what's her name? Same and now there. there's this other arena over here, the newer one. Uh, At the end, of, it's real close to here. Well, there's, there's one like it's... Oh, God. Sky West or Sky something, the one right down here. Yes, yeah. it's really fancy. It's a really, it's a newer one. Yes, it's right there on the end of Cardwell. Oh, oh, that big, big honking sky. thing. Oh, that human. It's on thirty acres. Yeah, yeah. That, one. that thing's huge. The one that owns that or bought that is the daughter or her granddaughter of Rayleigh's. Oh. oh. She's the one that she rode in the Olympics. Yeah. And oh. she's involved in that. My son-in-law, grandson-in-law, did some work, so I, he took me over to see their their facility, their barn. Oh, it's fancy. And uh, I mean, they've got glass, leaded, panel doors in there. <laughs> oh my! You could eat off the floor. Mm -hmm. it, it it's. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, just north of that. Is the old rock corral? You remember that? Yes, yes. Indian grinding rock. Yes, yes. It's, we used to ride the horses there. in there. The Orangeville Park bought it, and that's nobody can do anything. I mean, nobody goes in there anymore. It's. Just, I understand why they want to preserve it, up to a point, but nobody can go through there anymore. We used to. You, they had the grinding rocks and everything. We used to take our sleeping bags and sleep on the grinding rocks. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, we used to ride the horses through mm -hmm. there, and we didn't disturb anything. It's not like we were messing with anything. But uh, it's, it's landlocked right now. Yeah. And they're trying to find a way to do something about it. Oh, are they? But they don't have any money, and I don't know if it's a county park or a, a Orangeville. Well, I thought it was Orangeville, but I could be wrong. I thought it was Orangeville. But it's just such a shame, because it does have a lot of history in there. Yeah. All the grinding rocks with all the holes in them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You were our lucky. We got to see this. Not everybody did. Well, I mean, I, you know. I live on Sherry. I drive by that thing every day and and uh, and wonder about it. Yeah. Now I think it's just home to a bunch of coyotes. Probably. And because uh, we hear them all the time. Okay. Yeah. Lately, a lot. I think because there's so much is being developed. Yeah. Whatever's being developed on the other side of Hazel. Yeah. Where that fire was, that grass fire. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're they're losing their habitat, so we hear them more and more. Now, do you remember the airport? Oh, yeah. I yeah. flew in and out of it. Did you know the airport? Phoenix Field? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember. That was just when I arrived here. I remember driving driving down Ma Madison, and I saw a small plane crossing Madison. I went, whoa, yeah. what are they doing? Yeah, I rem I, yeah. but that it closed soon after that. Yeah. I, I was there one day when the Goodyear blimp actually came. Really? And landed, picked somebody up, and took off again. Really? Wow. For some event over in... At Vacaville or something like that. Wow, wow. It's huge. It took up the whole runway. Oh, I can imagine, yeah. 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 And I did talk to some guys, I forgot who they were, that actually built it. Ooh. And when they built that, they picked that spot because it was way away from oh. everybody else. Well, yes, yeah, it was rural. There was nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we think of anything else? Mm, oh, do you remember the chicken ranch over there? Oh my gosh! Yes, the big yes, 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 Featherly yes. Farms. Yeah. Yeah. I used to go over there and buy second, well, buy seconds that they weren't really washed or whatever all the time from them. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened to it, big chicken? Did somebody steal the big chicken? They used to steal it all the time. Yeah. 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 Yep. Do you remember that? I remember Featherland Farms. I remember the chicken. And I have a friend who's actually in the on the history project whose son in law admitted to stealing it at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it always came back and yeah. then somebody else would steal it. <laughs> uh, 
kids. Can you think of anything else? Me either. Mm -mm. A lot of businesses come and go. Yeah. But some of them have been around here a long time. I think the oldest was probably Black Stallion. Probably. Yeah. And uh, I remember the Pink Pussycat. Yeah. Did that was a talk of the town. Oh, God. Did that, uh, it made national news. Did oh, it? did it really? Yes, and somebody's making a, a video about it right now. Really? It hasn't been released yet. The in whole story. Or in Orangevale, of all places. Yeah, I got national news. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like I said, that's the first and only topless bar I went into. And you lasted all the three minutes? Oh, yeah, I was about to. I go, Geez. And I, I told my husband, I said, I have a better shape than they do. Some of them, <laughs> really. I said, I do. I said, he goes, yeah. I go, that's. I'm, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I, guess I was kind of naive. I've never been in anything like that. Night. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I, can't, I can't think of anything else exciting or interesting or that happened. Well, if you do, you need to call us because we had to go back to uh, to Charlie's yeah. again because there was a whole bunch of stuff he forgot to tell us the first okay. time. Okay. So just give me a call if you uh, think uh, of something wonderful. Okay. I can't think of anything right at the moment. And that first guy. Nick Sal. Yeah. Yes. He had many more stories to tell that he didn't get into. Ah. Well, we'll have to get him back. He, 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 he knows the details on building the Folsom Dam. Mm. Oh, wow. He was here that, that, that oh, yeah. long ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And what people used to do for entertainment way back then. Which was? Not much. <laughs> Not much, no. No, there really wasn't a whole lot to do. That's why I think they look forward to seeing the powwow days. Yeah, probably. I mean, there it, really, it, unless you were over 21 and went to a bar, there really wasn't. Well, I mean, they, they did have clubs. They had 4-H and FFA for the kids, but a lot of the kids were not really into that. I mean, you know. <sighs> well, they just hung out at Foster's Freeze and Hangover. Yeah. Yeah. And back when I was going to high school, they hung out at that other place, which turned into George's Produce. Okay, yeah. Which is not there anymore. No. Then, they, before they had the community center, they had the youth center on Hazel Avenue. And that's still there? Yeah, it's still there. Mm-hmm. And then they built a new, bigger one over across the way. Yeah. Now, this year, they finally got a street light mm -hmm. so that you could actually cross. Yeah, I saw that, That's yes. Street. Yeah. That's so mm -hmm. smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And was we have a farmer's market now in the summertime. Was there ever a, a farmer's market before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't remember. And you, well, there was, you said there was George's Produce. Were there any other sort of roadside vegetable stands? or I, I would think it being so rural, there would be. There was a number of strawberry fields. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But his was the only business that was a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was there all year round. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's all he sold was produce. Yeah. Yeah. We just take blueberries and boysenberries and pomegranates yeah and peaches and cherries yeah. and yeah. some other stuff yeah I'm mentally going down Greenback Lane and I can't Hillside Stable that's the one that has she gives lessons down there on Oak Avenue it's called Hillside Hillside Stable she's been there for a long time I can't think of her name Kathy her name's Kathy. She's been there for a long time. Oh. 
You know that big rolling wood area that has all those homes? Yeah. I was running around there when there was no homes. Really? It just belonged to that sheep guy. Uh-huh. One sheep herder. Yeah. But we would camp out there. We would run our bikes over there. We would visit friends over there. We had a good time. Well, we used to go down to the end of Peerless. And you're going out. Do you remember that? That they have, they did have gates then. Smud had the keys to the gates, but they gave us a key to the gate. So we'd go in there and ride on all that property back in there. There was a couple of lakes out there. We used to ride back in there, and then when they built those houses back in there, they wouldn't let us out there. Well, oh, I remember Hazel not going through. Mm hmm Not a, not across the river. Mm hmm mm hmm and that was a big thing to carve that out, yeah. build a river, build a bridge. Yeah. Do you remember Aerojet testing the... the oh, gosh, yes. And you could hear it sometimes? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could hear it. They were, they're done now. Gee, what else? I'm, actually, I'm mentally going down Greenback Lane and trying to think... What was there and it isn't there now, but I can't really think. Help me out here, Ken. You're thinking too, aren't you? We're going there down are some of them that have been there for years. Yeah. Well, I can't. The Catholic Church is fairly new. Yeah, that's fairly new. And we have somebody to interview on that, I think. Mm. Someone said they know the history and the details behind it. One time, before they built the church, they had that big tent, remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was, <laughs> my son um, um, said, uh, we remember that it was the Four Square Church, and I don't know what it's called now. It's on Hazel, right across the street, right right down the street from Cherry. It's a big church. New Life, I think it's called now. Yeah. And they had a tent for a while, and, and uh, my, my little boy said, look, Mom, another Catholic church. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. 